Okay, I'm going to give a brief overview of how to use Petite. First, we're going to start with a test file I have for a bunch of syslog entries. As you can see, this is the first 25 lines of about a 100 line file. It's got several different servers in it and many different entries. What we're going to do is we're going to try and make this more readable. We're going to run it through Petite. Okay, we're able to turn 100 lines into about 15 lines of text. The magic here is that there are two columns. The first column is a number, the second one is a text string. The text string shows you what the entry in the real syslog file looked like generally with some patterns removed. The first column tells you how many times we found it in the text file. So as you can see we found the first entry 24 times, the second one 8 times, etc, etc. Now what we can do is we can go down this line by line and read it and see that there's nothing doom and gloom in this log file which is good. This removes uncertainty from from our analysis. The next thing you might want to do is to do a word count. And what this will do is give us a list of important words that were found. Important words are deemed as anything that is not a common word in English and several patterns are removed again, numbers, etc. So as you can see we found the word root 55 times, so that's a fairly interesting word. The word session, user, message, repeated. This is an excellent way to analyze a log file, especially when you know there are error conditions in the log file and you want to start tracking those error conditions but you're not sure what words may be used in these cases, for example assertion or fatal error, exact, examples like that. The next thing you might want to do is to be able to graph the log file over time, which is something that is not easy to do on the command line. What we're going to do is do the first 60 seconds. As you can see, it shows the number of entries it found over time. And we didn't really have any entries until about the 30th second of the log file. And then towards the end here, we get a lot more entries. Uh, the maximum we found was 8 in this one second here. And the scale is 1.66, duration 60 seconds, etc. This gives you a an idea of what's happening when or how off you know how often it's happening etc you can use this to to track certain words if you want or you can just track entries in general so if you want to learn more about petite you can go to our website it's opensource.img.com and then you can navigate to our tools section and then click on petite that will bring you to this page here you can find more documentation on the architecture of the tool and some other routine operations and more creative ways to use it to track different things in your log files.